Hey guys, I'm making a quick video here on my recently purchased and built Nixie tube clock. This is a IN 8-2 Nixie clock, which is the type of tube. In this case, these tubes are different than the standard IN-14s because if you can see the fours, I'm sorry, fives um, are not upside down twos, which is a really nice addition. Um, I purchased this from the website Gra and a Fetch. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll be real honest, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I just wanted to review this clock because I think it's absolutely amazing and everyone that's seen it so far thinks it's absolutely the bomb. Um, on top of the tubes, which I actually purchased separately, um, you can see these columns right here. And these columns are also a form of Nixie tubes. I believe they're IN-2s. Uh, that was a separate thing for the kit, but I think they look absolutely great and they flicker with every other second. This clock also works really well because it has the slot machine effect every minute or so, and that allows for um, to prevent the tubes from deteriorating and they can last as long as possible. And when they roll, you can even see the date. Um, on top of that, the, uh, the real-time clock built into this, which is the uh, chip that keeps, keeps time, is extremely accurate. It's been about a week now and it hasn't drifted with more than half a second maybe. And honestly, I think that just might be from me unplugging it or plugging it in or setting it wrong myself. So um, it keeps a really good time. You don't have to worry about setting it every so often. As you can see the roll, today's December 4th, 2020. It'll roll back and then now show us the current seconds. Uh, it just looks so great. On top of the, um, here without the lights, I actually should turn on the lights for you. So I'll turn this. Sorry, you hold up. So there's some nice controls I go over them, but so this is the standard that's uh, really bright. Um, let me adjust this a little better. But um, it actually rotates the colors. It looks really good. I personally think the blue is the best color when it comes around. And I usually like to freeze it on there because you can freeze it just by clicking the down button. Well, I don't think it's rotating right now. Oh, there we go. Sorry, it was on frozen. So, see, ooh. So to my knowledge, you can do pretty much any color with these RGBs, which is really nice. And this is also programmable using Arduino code. So, not see, freeze it right on the blue. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a nice clock. I mean, you really can't appreciate it unless you're here. You can also go to the different modes. See, so just check the date. You can also set an alarm if you wish. Uh, see, so currently I don't have an alarm set. You can also view the temperature, but I did not buy the temperature module. And you can also change 12 versus 24. I'll even show you the, um, the boot up sequence. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this clock. Um, like I said, um, this isn't a clock you have to assemble. Um, I think you can buy it assembled already, but I chose to assemble it myself. I thought it'd be fun. It was at first, first eight hours maybe, and then it got really bad. So um, depending on how good you are of soldering um, SMDs, uh, that's up to you. I personally love this clock because I can program it. Um, using Arduino, like I said, because it's just, it, it thinks it's an Arduino Uno, because it basically is an Arduino Uno with um, the high voltage transformers and such. So uh, I can add whatever I want. If I want to make a timer for this or something else, definitely feasible and not too hard. Uh, this is great for like DIY people and t people that want to customize it a little bit. I plan on getting a case for it, either 3D printing one or buying or cutting out a nice wood one or something. But yeah, that's it. So... Thanks for watching.